And that pretty much wraps up the real basics of taking advantage of arrays, uh, along with a little bit of intermediate topics there. There's a huge list of functions that you can use with arrays. And now that you've got a basic idea of how to use functions with arrays, I think you can go to places like php.net and take a look at all the options you have for other arrays with uh, you know further sorting and things like that, pushing values out, putting values in, and kind of know where to go from there. So for the remaining videos here, we're going to kind of, we're going to take what we've learned and really apply it. Um, so we're going to mix in some HTML, CSS, and, and uh, really any goodies we can to really showcase ways you can use arrays. So I'm going to go ahead and clear all of this out. And we're going to put in the basic HTML document tags in here. So we need the doc type. HTML, the head, title, and body. And if you're not very familiar with HTML and CSS, go ahead and take a look at our HTML and CSS series that we have up on YouTube. Um, Otherwise, you know, hop in here and follow along. Okay, so we've given it a title here. We go ahead and put a style tag in here. And uh, for simplicity, we're going to use, we'll put our CSS all here embedded in the document. So I'm going to come up with kind of a template for the document. And uh, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because we're not really explaining HTML and CSS, and we've already explained. Um, most of the array functionality that I'm going to use here. So there shouldn't really be any need to slow down and explain too much. So we'll go ahead and create a header here. And uh, we're using HTML5, so if you're not familiar with this, again, take a look at our HTML5 and CSS3 series. So we'll do a header, we'll do a nav tag, section this will be the content of our document and footer so let's come up here above doc type and do some PHP tags and we're gonna create our first array so in this example we're gonna we're gonna build this as if this was a website granted it's only gonna be one page but we're going to build it as if this was a full website. So in this first array, we're going to use this to store some of the kind of site defaults. So we'll call this first array site. And uh, I'm going to do this in a different way. One of the ways that I showed you in the very first example. We're going to go ahead and define the keys here rather than using the array function. So site title and I'm pretty much just going to take this here, paste it here, and then site I'm going to go through these and then I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing here. So we're going to do site and name. And we'll keep it at that for now. So now we can go through here and add in these values. So we'll do a PHP echo site title. And I'm going to go ahead and copy 
this and put it down here in the footer and we're going to do all right copyright site name again and we'll put an h1 tag here and paste that here and we'll put the site name in here as well so I'll save this and let's go ahead and take a look there you go now we don't have any real formatting here so uh, really just the data is being spit out so we've got our h1 tag We've got, you see the site title being dynamically placed here, and here's our footer. So let's pop back into Dreamweaver. Now, as I noted uh, previously, I want to kind of follow this same uh, radio show example. So I want to go ahead and change the site title and the site name. And rather than having to do that everywhere I've used it on the site, I can go ahead and simply do that up here. Save that and take a look. There you go. So that's one example how we can utilize an array here or just really variables in general to save some time. Now really quick let's put in a little bit of CSS here just to give us some formatting. So the header Give a background color and we'll just make it a light gray and we'll give it a border radius say of six pixels and give it a padding pixels. Save that, take a quick look at what we got. There you go. And we'll now we'll do the nav really quick, which we don't have any data in there yet, but just get a simple format going here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this here. but uh, make the padding a little smaller. And also put a margin in there. So I'll put a margin of five pixels on the top and the bottom. And we'll go ahead and copy this. the same format for the footer and let's go ahead and do the content area or the section and just for now we'll just give this a minimum height so we can kind of see the page as it is intended to be and we'll just do 600 pixels that Take a look all right so we've got all of our sections here we've got our header our nav our content area and our footer and 
really quick. I'll just and really quick. I'm just going to do a text align center on the uh, footer. So, so now we've got our basic document set up, and we'll move into some more here. So we'll go ahead and save this as.